Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We have a look at the ECM WF42 day model for today's second video. This is the six weeks look out for the UK and Ireland too. And I shall get time back for you in a moment, just to say that first the video in second was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. I've got weekend forecast and 10 to 14 day are other way later on today as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so to everybody. For doing that, thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts of the data as well. By the way, thank you so much, GC. Right, we'll start off with the week one well, being sea level pressure anomaly taking us from the 5th through to 12th of August. By the way, get to the middle of September with this update, 16th of September, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Week one is the 5th to the 12th of August. Looking quite unsettled next week with low pressure in the North Atlantic, high pressure. Close to the Azores, a wind coming from a flat westerly direction. Uh, 500 millibar high tonight from the Arctic of the North Pole view down, shown below average heights around Greenland, Iceland, in the North Atlantic, above average heights of the Atlantic into West Europe, and again a flat westerly zonal flow is expected there. Temperature anomalies next week are slightly below average to the north and the west and above average to the southeast. So relatively warm to spike an Atlantic flow next week. Um, precipitation looks wetter than average to the north of Scotland, drier than average to the west of Ireland. Most places get near normal rainfall next week. Perhaps a bit drier than average southeastern corner. <coughs> So, so we're anyway, right. Week two will be the 12th to the 19th of August. So, uh, this one has some higher pressure to the west of the UK and Ireland now, with the trough moving towards the north and northeast of Europe. Go back to the wind into a cooler northwesterly. Let's have a look at 500 millibar height, see what they're doing. So, again, we've got a ridge area of high pressure to the west and southwest, a trough area of low pressure. To the north and the northeast of the UK and Ireland. And again, the wind a flow and jet stream doing something a little bit like that. I think this might be a cooler week. Let's have a look. Yeah, the temperature normally going below average, especially so in the northern half of the country and dropping to near normal temperature anomalies further south. And the precipitation wise, it looks like that. So wetter than average. In the north of the northeast, driving average to the southwest. Again, near normal rainfall for uh, much of the UK. Anyway, Ireland coming out drier than normal, though. Week three will be the 19th to the 26th of August. So this week just sees lower pressure covering much of Europe, actually. Looks a rather strange anomaly. 500 millibar heights look like that. So the high pressure is pulling further away from us over towards the um, western portion of the North Atlantic with this trough of low pressure between uh, Scotland and Norway. Looks like it would be quite mixed with that and uh, bring the wind in again from a western and northwesterly direction. The temperature normally remains a bit subdued, cooler than average just to our north and northwest, milder than average or warm than average to our south and southwest. And again, sort of average temperatures um, expected there. A little bit more unsettled as well. Rainfall anomalies are creeping up. With week three now, so I suppose it's a slight weakening signal, but it does look as though there could be uh, more in way of unsettled weather actually developing there across the north and west of Europe later on into August. Week four will be the second, uh, 26th of August, 2nd of September. So uh, we go into the beginning of meteorological autumn with low pressure again in the Atlantic into western parts of Europe, what about 500 millibar heights. It's all becoming rather sketchy by this point. We've got a bit of a blocking signal towards Greenland and some higher pressure to the south of um, Spain. I wonder if there could be a trough of low in between those two areas of high pressure. The temperature anomaly, again, nothing to get excited about. A bit cooler than average just to the northwest, a bit warmer than average just to the southeast, near normal um, temperature really across most parts of uh, the UK and Ireland there. But it does look rather unsettled. So although we've been the 500 millibar heights and mean sea level pressure on it, there's not much sign of low pressure. Nevertheless, the model is going for you know, quite an area of above average rainfall right from the Azores, for example, all the way up towards the UK, Ireland, even into Scandinavia. 
Week 5 being the 2nd to the ninth of September. Here we go. Now, now it's getting very mysterious. So, we've got low pressure in the Atlantic. Low pressure over here. Could there be a ridge here, maybe? Put in a question mark. What about 500 millibar heights? They're not showing anything of use either. Temperature anomalies remain close to average. Possibly by this point because it's so far out. Not much of a signal. And maybe not as wet as it is in the... Uh, earlier weeks, but I have to say, going into September is getting very sketchy. Finally, week six will be the night to 16th of September. Let's have a look. And uh, that one's starting to show some low pressure again, getting closer to the UK and to Ireland, the 500 millibar heights, raising the heights a little bit to the southwest. So, um, if there's low pressure coming through here, that could still be quite unsettled, but it should be relatively warm anyway. Winds coming up from a southwesterly direction. Temperature and knowledge should lift up here, I think. Yes, they do. Starting to go a little bit above average. And precipitation wise, not much of a signal. But it does look rather wet out in the Atlantic, I have to say. So it's a very weak still when we get to September. I think we'll leave September alone for now. The rest of August and the rest of the meteorological summer looking very uh, mixed, as we've had it through the um, you know through the summer so far, really. So I'm sure there will be some drier, hotter days in there. These are weekly anomalies, so we've been back. We get a day or two, but deviating here and there. But overall, it looks a mixed bag for the remainder of meteorological summer 2024. We'll see. Remember, just a snapshot of what Molly Shane could look completely different. We're looking at it again next week on Tuesday for the XC European Outlook and next Saturday for the UK and Ireland Focus video. We're going to be back later on with weekend forecasts and your 10 to 14 day. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.